Hello! Hello! Ah, yeah. Are you the person who is in charge of the uh, Universal City Hall? Ah, good. This is the mad scientist, Baron Aloha, talking to you. Listen, Donka, I have question for simple favor. In the backwater reaches of the galaxy lies a tiny planet known as Little Moo that is used by Baron Aloha as his secret hideout. The Baron returned to his home away from home to rejuvenate from a recent beating he took at the hands of the feet of that heroic battle buddy known as Robert. He was in the process of inventing a better, stronger, more absurd way to overthrow the universe when Little Moo is visited by a stranger. In fact, there is nothing stranger in the universe than the creature known only as Captain Kabuki. Tipping the scales in a whopping 220 bazillion tons, he uses a kung fu grip larger than metropolitan Chicago to shred Little Moo and add it to his fantastic collection of bottled wonderlands. Using his keen sense of villain timing, Baron Aloha hastily departs the scene and lands upon a small asteroid. Unable to cope with the monstrosity that is Kabuki, he calls Universal City Hall and begs for help as his beloved hideaway is made into so much Swiss cheese. After listening to the Baron's plight, the interstellar dispenser of justice decides to send the only being capable of dealing with a menace such as Captain Kabuki, the freedom-loving, robo-heroic Robert. Tuned up and ready to go the distance, Robert leaps to the scene. Jumping Flash 2, Big Trouble in Little Moo. Let's do it! Yummy!
Let's do it! Let's do it! Revolting development this has turned out to be. Hey, Baron, Robert's here. We're saved. 
Just because he's the hero, don't mean you got to root for him. Axel. Jeez, what a grouch. 